What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out another 40 free iOS 13.5 tweaks. And of course all the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. DocX adds pasteboard shortcuts to the bottom of the keyboard on the iPhone 10 and above, so you could easily do things like select all, copy, paste, undo, etc. right from this bottom bar. And if you guys head over to the settings for DocX, there are some options to configure. CC Calc brings a full calculator to the expanded module of the calculator in the control center as you can see right here. So it's a fully functioning calculator right within the control center. Battery home bar places your current battery level right on the home bar on the iPhone 10 and above. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Playing will give you a banner notification whenever you start to play a new song on your device as you can see right here. Settings widgets allows you to add widgets to the top of the settings application. As you can see, I have a storage and battery widget at the top here, and of course you can tap on the widgets to be redirected to the portion of the settings application that the widget is associated with. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure. And of course, you could also choose which two widgets you want to show. You could choose between a battery health, storage, Wi-Fi, and cellular. Quick Prefs allows you to easily access the settings panel for up to eight tweaks right from the quick actions menu on the settings application. So as you can see right here, I have a few different tweaks configure, prediction shortcuts. I could go straight to the settings for that, just like that. And of course, to set this up, you want to head over to the settings for Quick Prefs and just type in the name of the tweaks that you want to show in the quick actions menu for the settings app. And then respring to apply the changes. Wonder Bar provides you with a whole host of options that allow you to customize your status bar. For instance, as you can see here, I have custom colors for my Wi-Fi indicator, my battery indicator, and my time indicator, and those are just a few of the options that this tweak comes with. If you guys head over to the settings for Wonder Bar, you can configure everything to your liking. Blurry badges will colorize your app badges based on the color of the application that the badge is on, as you can see right here. And here's a similar tweak called App Color Close iOS 12 Plus. This tweak will colorize the X on top of applications when you're in wiggle mode to delete the application, again, based on the color of the app that the X is on. WAQT allows you to add more information than just the time to the status bar. As you can see, I have the day of the week and the date right in the status bar. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some options to configure. Notify blows you to easily check if you have a notification from specific applications on your device without even looking at your device. So let's say my device is locked here and I wanted to check if I had notifications from one of my specified apps, which in my case is messages. I could go ahead and perform the gesture that I configure, which for me is pressing both volume buttons at the same time. And if I do have notifications for that specific app, as you just heard there, my device will vibrate. So it's an easy and discreet way to check if you have notifications for specific apps. And of course, to set this tweak up, you want to make sure you head over to the settings for NotiVibe. And in here, you can choose which applications you want to use this with. And there's a whole host of other options to configure it to your liking as well. Settings Collapse allows you to collapse the different sections in the Settings app, as you can see right here. And when these sections are in the collapsed state, no functionality is lost, you can still scroll across and actually tap on the options to access them. It just goes for a more minimalistic look, and of course you could re-expand them just by selecting the Show More button. And if you guys head over to the Settings Collapse Preferences, there's a few options to configure. Dismisser allows you to easily dismiss alerts in iOS simply by tapping anywhere in the empty area of the screen just like that rather than having to tap on the cancel button, the OK button, or whatever it may be. And if you guys head over to the settings for the tweak, you can enable or disable the tweak and determine if you want to keep the cancel buttons or remove them for a cleaner look. No Icon Fly In 13 removes the animation that's normally there when you unlock your device on iOS 13. So the device on the right here does have the tweak installed, the device on the left it does not. So you can see here the point of reference. Of course, that animation is normally there, but this tweak gets rid of it. With this tweak, the lock screen slides up and your icons are just right there immediately with no animation. iPlugs allows you to temporarily suppress beta notifications when you're in specific applications on your device. For instance, I have it configured so whenever I'm in my notes application, I won't get beta notifications. So I just sent myself a test notification. However, as you can see here, because I'm in the notes app, it's not going to appear. However, as soon as I exit the notes app, you can see this tweak's going to let me know that I missed however many notifications I missed with a little banner notification. And of course, then I could go ahead and check those notifications if I want to. And of course, to set up iPlogs, head over to the settings panel for it and select the applications that you want banner notifications to be suppressed in. And there's also some other options to configure as well. 
Half is a new battery indicator for your device. As you can see, it's going to place the actual battery percentage right inside the battery icon in your status bar. This is particularly helpful on the iPhone 10 and above because normally you have to swipe down to see the percentage. But of course, with this tweak, you could just see it right in the battery image. But this tweak also looks quite good on devices with a home button as well. Photo info will list the disk space and resolution of photos and videos right at the top of the photos application, as you can see right here. And while we're here in the Photos app, here's Auto Replay. This tweak will automatically replay videos in the Photos app, just like that. Chroma Home Bar X adds a splash of color to the home bar on the iPhone 10 and above. As you can see here, it'll cycle through colors to go for a fresh look. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a bunch of options in here to configure it to your liking. Normally in iOS, if you want to clear all of your recent calls, you have to select the edit button and then clear to do so. However, with clear recent calls, as you can see here, it just adds a new button right to the top of the recent calls section, allowing you to access the clear button easier. And of course, if you head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Prediction shortcuts gives you pasteboard shortcuts right in the predictive text section of the keyboard. And depending on the way you set it up, if you want to, you can still have it so these suggestions will appear. As you can see, it's just when they're not needed, you'll get these pasteboard shortcuts. However, of course, if you want to, you could completely have it totally overwrite the prediction so you just get these shortcuts if you want. And of course, all of this and more can be configured inside the settings for prediction shortcuts. No C share will hide the airdrop slash contact suggestions that can appear when you're sharing something in the photos application to go for a cleaner look if those are bothering you. And this tweak also allows you to both rearrange or remove the airdrop shortcut from the sharing options as well. So as you can see here on the left, normally in iOS, we're unable to rearrange or remove the airdrop option from the list. But with this tweak, we can do both of those things. C color allows you to customize the background color for your control center. As you can see right here, I have a red shade going on right now. And of course, to set this up, you want to head over to the settings for this tweak and choose your color here. Hide surplus allows you to hide a few different things on your device. For instance, as you can see here, I have my icon labels hidden. My dock background is hidden. Same thing with folder labels and the titles inside of folders and the text that normally says notification center above groups of notifications in my case. But of course, you can configure all this to your liking if you head over to the settings for hide surplus you can determine what you want hidden in here. Normally in iOS, when you redirect it from one application to another application, iOS will place a breadcrumb in the upper left-hand side of the status bar that allows you to easily go back to the previous app. However, with no breadcrumb 13, those breadcrumbs are disabled, as you can see. No contact banners automatically hides the banner that appears in iMessage conversations on iOS 13 that asks you to set up a name and photo, as you can see here, going for a cleaner appearance. No square mode will hide the square section from the camera application if you find yourself never using that. As you can see, it's nowhere to be found in the camera app. And inside the settings application, you have the ability to enable and disable no square mode. Normally in iOS, you can either swipe from left to right or right to left on notifications to get different options like open, you know, manage, view, clear, etc. And if you slide all the way in one particular direction, it'll go ahead and execute the first option that's available. However, easy notifications definitely simplifies things and makes it easier to open or clear notifications without any of those other options. As you can see, I could just lightly swipe to either side on a notification to open it, of course, is left to right. And to close it, I would swipe from right to left. And you can see there, it just automatically happens. There's no other options. And these swipes sensitivity is a lot easier to activate. Buzz Buzz Lite will provide you haptic feedback when you do a variety of things on your device. For instance, open up applications, tap on submenus, use the volume buttons, the passcode buttons, and more. And you could also enable and disable the tweak in the settings application. Vixie completely hides app badges from all applications on your device. Page squares will turn the page dots for home screen pages and folder pages into squares, as you can see right here. And here's a very similar tweak called page bar that transitions the page dots into a bar style rather than the traditional dots. Hide bar X completely removes the home bar from the bottom of applications on the iPhone 10 and above, going for a cleaner appearance. Gestures 13 brings the iPhone 10 and above gesture-based controls to devices that have a home button. So as you can see right here, I could go ahead and close out of applications by swiping up, swipe up and hold to get into the app switcher, and switch between my recently opened applications using this swipe up and over gesture. I could also use it to get into the last used app. And also, of course, the control center gesture has been remapped to the upper right-hand side of the screen, just like it is on the gesture-based devices. And of course, you could unlock your device just by swiping up on the lock screen. Normally in iOS, adjusting the video recording settings 
directly from the camera app is exclusive to iPhone 11 devices. But as you can see here with tap video config, we're able to change the camera settings directly within the camera application on devices that aren't the iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Cool CC gives your control center this very clean look by giving the modules a border and removing the background from the modules as well. And if you guys head over to the settings for Cool CC, you have a few different options to configure. Shy Labels hides your app labels on your home screen when you're not scrolling between pages. As you can see, as soon as I start scrolling, they'll appear briefly and then they'll fade away just like that. So it's a subtle way to still have app labels but retain that clean look. In numerous instances throughout iOS, the keyboard will have this bar at the top that allows you to skip between text fields and dismiss the keyboard by pressing done if you want to. However, if you don't want that there and you want to go for a more minimalistic look, as you can see, topless keyboard allows you to remove that bar. Reach to Lock X allows you to lock your device using the reach ability gesture just by swiping down at the bottom of the screen just like that. And in the settings for the tweak if you want to, you can enable a single swipe and a double swipe gesture to retain the ability to use reach ability and use the lock gesture as well. Alright everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.